authors who may follow later. Uh, welcome to Jenkins documentation and development mentoring for She Code Africa Contributhon. Onyine and Esther, we're grateful to have you both here. Kristen is joining as well. We're being recorded. Be kind to each other and we'll go ahead. So what I'm going to do is share my screen and we'll use that as a, as a way to outline our agenda and be sure we agree on and choose the right topics, etc. So here's what, whoops, here's what I've got. Um, the how's it going? First question. And then there were some questions from Monday, the docs chat group, bios and photos for the blog, uh, code of conduct, I think we've got covered, no issues there, but just to be sure, and Slack channel. And then I think those should all be fairly brief. And then it's what questions do you have? And let's provide some answers. Let's see ways we can help you. Um, identify barriers, uh, identify issues, um, resolve those issues, etc. Does that sound good to everyone? Yeah, it does. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for joining. Thanks very much. Okay, so how about Onyinye, do you want to give us first status? How are, how are things going? Are there things that have been in your way? Are there things where you were surprised? Cases where, oh, gee, this was a problem that I didn't expect to be a problem, etc. cetera. Um, okay, thank you. Um, so far, uh, it's been going well. Um, and it's been challenging. Because uh, most of the things that were doing here, uh, most of them are strange to me. So I have to keep on going through the materials that were provided. I make sure I go through them over and over and over again. So I could actually understand what he's talking about. Yeah, but so far so good. It's, 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 it's been a wonderful experience. Yeah, thank you. you mentioned that it's taking multiple reviews and that's 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 a, a certainly must be challenging so the i think what that's saying is the the task list was not detailed enough or not detailed enough for someone with who hasn't worked in this particular project before Good. Okay. Excellent. Any other insights you'd like to share on things that things that could have made your initial your initial beginning easier or smoother? Uh, everything is fine. It, I didn't really say the tax list was not detailed enough. It, they are well detailed, but then. Uh, we still have to, I still have to go through them over and over and again, yes. That detailed, then, and that's why we're making progress, yeah. Good, okay, yeah, very, very point, good point. So multiple cycles through the tasks, and I think we've seen that for others as well, is that there are times when a task that I thought was sufficient turned out many people have bumped into a problem in that task. So it's just, we're just learning. That's okay. I have, I don't mind at all that, that if we have to go through multiple times, that's great. Thanks for, for doing it. And thank you for helping us learn together. All right. Thank you. Great. Esther, would you like to go ahead? Okay, um, so far it's been it's been fine. Although I've been having uh, I had issues with Docker, and I had to do a lot of research. So um, most of the issues that I've been bumping into, I've had to well, 
I just solve them on my own intuitively. So uh, it's been it's been fine so far. I think one of the issues that I've, that I've had like something that's been really disturbing me is the whole restart of Jenkins. Um, the last time it had that whole I had that whole restart issue and it never restarted. So I had to kill it and then my laptop died. And then again today, I was I saw that I had to this uh, Jenkins. I had to upgrade not, not upgrade update some plugins. So I tried to update it and then it restarted. And then it never restarted in the end. So I just had to shut it down and kill everything. So I think that's the only that's the only thing. And then my uh, assigned plugin, I'm not. I, there's, I don't think it has enough documentation, except maybe I didn't go to the right page, but there was the page I went to, it, it didn't have anything in it. And there does that, is that no documentation? So was that a case of, hey, what should I do next? Tell, tell me more the... Uh, it was a case of, okay, but I, I didn't really um, think much about it because I've not gotten to that part. I'm still uh, building a pipeline. So, so I was like, okay, when I get to this part, then I can start asking questions. Let me just finish what I have to do first. Great. Okay. Now back to the, to the restart. Um, this is this is a really good information as well. So, what kind of operating system are you running on your computer? And tell us more about your computer so we can understand uh, if if it's if it's likely oh, the the system is small or something else. Okay, it's a uh, twelve gig RAM. Oh wow, that's um, okay. Yes, yes, it's very fast. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, and um. Okay, it's a good gram. It's a Core i5. It's a Windows 10 Home. Okay, which should absolutely work just fine. Okay, is it 64 bit or 32 bit? 64. Okay, all right. So it's got it's got access to those 12 gigabytes of memory as well. Okay, huh? Mm -hmm. And and what Jenkins configuration were you running? Were you trying to run Docker then? No, I was trying to update a plugin. So it said um, it said Jenkins will restart after the update or something. And there was no way for me to tell if the update was done. So I'm just waiting. Okay. I, I wasn't clear enough, I think, with my question. So when you're running Jenkins, when you install Jenkins on your Windows computer, did you install it? using the Windows MSI package? Did, did you install it using the Jenkins WAR file or did you install it using a Docker image? No, I used the MSI. Oh, okay. Interesting. So you were using the MSI to install, use the MSI to install, uh, and that should have, should have found a 64-bit uh, JDK so can you confirm that, and you can do it after the after our session, confirm that okay. your JDK is 64-bit and not 32-bit? Okay. Because it should, the, the failure you're describing sounds like it might be starved for memory. And, and, and that's possible, but with, a, with 12 gigabytes of memory, I don't know how it could be. That's, that's, that's quite a lot. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, so, so how about if we put here action, confirm that 64-bit uh, JDK is being used, not a 32-bit JDK. And I thought that the JDK is default to 64-bit, so that would surprise me if it weren't. Kristen, any, any other things you might suggest to investigate that might be causing crashes like that? 
Oh man, because uh, I know most of the time, whenever I work with Jenkins, I just use the WAR file. Um, right. But this is actually a good test. I don't know if anyone has tested the MSI installer recently. Um, so that, yeah, that's that right. could, yeah, like that could be something that we just need to investigate. But in the meantime, if you could, I say, like I'd use the WAR file <laughs> just to get around the MSI problems. But we can look into this. I haven't used MSI in a really long period of time. That's and that's a good suggestion. Jen, try running a Jenkins WAR file from a command prompt window mm -hmm. on the same computer, just to see to see if it behaves the same way. Right, and and I know that that will have a different Jenkins home um, than the MSI. So uh -huh. it, it, if you try to install like custom plugins or something, it might not show up, um, but it will put it in your exact folder. It's like, uh, it will be in like C users, whatever your user is, and then dot Jenkins. Yeah, it goes into percent yeah. home drive, home drive, percent home path, dot Jenkins. And that's if you're using the war. And then you can see the plugins that are installed there. It just is a little bit easier, I think. Then I think yeah. it's if, I think the MSI like routes it somewhere in the local data. <laughs> 100 percent Right. Remember, right. But the, they, the MSI. I think it might be easier to use the war file if you're running into some problems with the MSI. And then actually this is something that we should investigate to see if the MSI maybe has an issue. <laughs> so right. Good. So now I wasn't aware that Docker could run on Windows Home, but you have been successful, Esther, in getting Docker to run on Windows Home? Yep, I have. Good, okay, very good, all right. Yeah. Excellent, okay. That's great. All right, who else do we have with us? So Kristen. Ah, okay, so uh, how about we take Cynthia next? Hi, everyone. Hi. Um, <laughs> for me, uh, it's going well. Uh, so far, I've, uh, I've been able to create two pull requests. Uh, what has been uh, what has been challenging so far is um, understanding um, uh, the some of the arguments what they are trying to do. Um, so also like for the Git plugin, I tried to check the arguments that were missing the online help, but I couldn't find one. Uh, so I was not sure what I have to work on on the assign on my assigned uh, plugin. So yeah, um, maybe what I could request is, are there any resources or any tips on how we could understand more on what the arguments or are trying to do? I think that's what has been challenging so far. Yeah. My apologies for that one. That is that that effectively sets you up to fail on the Git plugin. I maintain the Git plugin and I've tried very hard to have documentation for all of its arguments. So so my apologies that that's a plugin that we hope is is a good example of how to document things. And when it isn't, we try to fix it. So so my apologies. Yes, you're right. What we probably ought to do is assign you a different plugin for purposes of doing the the argument work um are you are you willing to do that take on if we can yeah, give you a second one as your backup and here i'm going to bring it in this is the let's put if we were to take the where is my pivot table here it is okay so here's my here's the pivot table i've been using to track who's working on which so build step on Yunye, I believe you've started on that as well. Did I get that correct? Yes, yes. So then the next one would be 
workflow basic steps. And so if we put you on workflow basic steps, Cynthia, would that be okay? So that that would be your second plugin that you work on. And if something isn't needed in the Git plugin, you apply it to workflow basic steps. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Great. All right. So let me let me get that into the notes so that we know who's got which assignment. Okay. And so, and this is a pattern that I, I would propose we follow um, in general is when, when we run out of tasks on a certain plugin, we give you a second plugin. Now, some of them, for example, um, SCM step is a good one that, well, let's pick this one. Workspace cleanup may have an awful lot of work to be done on it, whereas Git, not much. And so how long each of you spends on a particular plugin will be widely variable. So don't, don't be dismayed if you feel like others are going faster. That's, that's not the point here. We want everyone to learn and we're confident that you'll add value as you go. Okay, so Cynthia, okay. back to Mark. you, go ahead. Oh yes, go ahead. Oh, sorry, uh, on my own, I'm still seeing a uh, SCM pipeline. Uh, I, I'm supposed to work also on the build step. So are you not supposed to add it there? The documents are just coming back from. Oh, sorry, could you, could you ask that again? Was that Lucy? Who was that? That's Onyinye, sorry. Oh, hello Onyinye, okay. Go ahead, sorry, yes. ask your question my, again. Forgive my not catching it. Yes, on my doc, the documents where you are at the moment, uh, you're supposed to add that, yes, thank you. Yeah, is it, are you okay if we put build step there for you? Because I, I, I have a suspicion that you're going to be done with SCM step kind of improvements pretty quickly, or would you rather wait until you're done? You, you tell me what you would prefer. You can put it, you can put okay. it there. Great, all right, so let's do that. Let me get the link to that, and it is build step. Very good. All right, so excellent. Thanks. Okay. So, Cynthia, back to you. Oh uh, yeah. Also, I had a question. So, are we meant to add uh, online help also for the parameters? If yes, uh, how do do how, like how do we do that? Because I saw uh, for arguments we have to create a new HTML that matches the path with the Java uh, folder. So I was not sure how to do that for the parameters. That is an excellent question. So I'm gonna illustrate, if it's okay for, for everyone, I want to illustrate what's, what's, what's behind your question because that's a question that I'm, I'm delighted you asked and let's look at it. So if I look on the Jenkins documentation site in the pipeline steps reference, and a recording of this, this will be available if you need to refer to it later. So when I look at the pipeline steps reference and let's look at the clean workspace plugin, clean WS, there it is, the workspace cleanup plugin. So when I look at this, this is where Cynthia's question is perfectly suited to it. Clean WS has, has very little description here and the arguments, it's a common complaint from people, hey, I don't know what each of these arguments mean. What do they clean? What do they, what do, they do when they do it, etc.? And what Cynthia observed is, hey, there's no file already existing to create this. Where do I put it? Uh, Cynthia, did I correctly describe your question? Oh, uh, yeah. And so, so what has to be done is you find you go into the plugin source code and find this keyword. And when you found that keyword, you create a help file, 
an HTML file to match that keyword in the, in the plugins resources source directory. So let's see, how can I illustrate that? Probably best, let's go to the, the Git plugin. That'll let us see some examples of this where we've got in the source directory, main resources, notice that it's resources, not Java. And then in this Jenkins plugins, Git and under Git step, here, okay, this is the thing that describes the step named git. But the step named git has an argument change log. It has another argument credentials ID, another argument poll, and another argument URL. So the naming pattern is find the correct directory or make the correct directory is more, probably more likely, make the correct directory in source main resources to match the Java code that you're, you're writing for, and then create in it a help dash and the argument name. So in our example, it was, it was um, clean, hang on, what was it? It was clean, seriously. I'm sorry, I'm having difficulty finding my window again. Ah, it was here, no. Oh, too many windows, so sorry. Okay, so it was, oh, I'm sorry, I'm lost. Okay, so the arguments are here, add them as help dash and then that word and oh, it was workspace cleanup, here it is, clean when aborted. So it would be help dash clean when aborted dot HTML and inside that you would put text something like this text here. So a div to open it, a div to close it and then a little bit of text to describe what you've learned about that particular argument. Cynthia, did that help at all? Yeah, 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 it did, thanks. Okay, excellent question. Thank you very much for asking. Any, any other topics, Cynthia, that you'd like to highlight or things where, oh, there was something that was a challenge or got in the way? Uh, yeah, so I say that, uh, Something that was challenging is trying to understand what the arguments are trying to do. Um, so I don't know if you could provide any tip on how we could understand the what could help us to understand more uh, the, what the arguments are doing. Very good. And so for me, I would think run the pipeline syntax generator yourself. in the local Jenkins that you've got um, and look, look at what it offers, what it hints to you about what that argument is doing. The second would be use the, use the plugin documentation if it exists. For instance, on the workspace cleanup plugin, I was quite impressed. It's got some really excellent documentation in the, on the plugins page. Uh, and so that already tells many times, uh, then the other is make a guess. And if make a guess and explore doesn't work out, then ask a question, ask questions in the uh, Slack channel. Kristen, any advice from you in terms of is, are there other, other ways of exploring this that you might suggest or other things that would be more effective than what I've described? Right. These are really good suggestions. And also, um, I would almost say you could probably reach out on the main Gitter channel, the Gitter channel for Jenkins as well. Oh, um, yes. Maybe ask the general community because there could be someone who is a pipe plugin maintainer or who uses it, uses it on a regular basis, might be able to answer some questions as well. Because some of these plugins, um, 
you know, we don't see them every day or, <laughs> or um, we're not, maybe if you're not using them as well, there could be other people who would have some insight into what the parameters mean. Excellent, thank you. Good suggestion. Yeah, the main Jenkins Gitter channel. Another might be the Jenkins users mailing list. The Gitter channel tends to be right, much answer. faster response than a mailing list post. Uh, this one, it's either fast or not at all. If, if you ask a, a question that people know the answer to, they'll answer immediately. If right. they don't know the answer, <laughs> it may never get an answer. Right. So, so it's a good ch chance to ask and just not know that there might not be anything that's, that's early. Right. But um, we'll try to get definitely like searching the, the regular documentation for the plugin. They probably, I would say about 99 times out of 100, the information's there, just not in the help file where it should be to help everybody else. Because, you know, again, like make it a little bit easier so <laughs> other people don't have to do the same level of digging that you're doing here it's just to be able to use the steps right and, and now the ultimate the ultimate reference is the source code itself if you've right. read java before you're certainly welcome to use the source code if you're not comfortable with java that's that's okay that that's the very last thing and by then we should have found another way to help you get the answer right yes <laughs> anything else cynthia All right, should we move on to Lucy? Oh, Lucy's not here, sorry, my mistake. So Sharon, I think you're next. Hello, everyone. Hi. So, so far, everything has, hasn't been bad, though I'm a bit behind. So I had problems with the installations but I'm trying over time to sort them. So the major problem was with the Docker, but I'd asked for way of consultation and you told me that I can go ahead. But when, when I was stuck, I could search for solutions, then I could find some comments below the Jenkins page, which some people had already sorted. So it has been helpful. And so Sharon, which, what kind of computer are you running? Is it Windows Home? Is it? I'm using Ubuntu Linux. Okay, all right. And how much memory do you have on your computer? It's uh, four gigabytes, then 64 bit. Oh, good. Okay. All right. And is it 18.04 or 20.04 or a different one? 20. 20. 20. Okay, yeah. good. All right. Very good. Okay. So, so Docker should be relatively straightforward to install there, but you, you, there were issues you encountered. Do you want to share some of those with us so that was it, was it downloading that was a challenge? Was it that it failed to start. Tell us more. Okay. the The issue was when I was running the pipeline on the Blue Ocean with Jenkins. So when when I was running, the last command was failing, and it was something to do with Docker. So I had to restart. And then I had to restart, start again. And then, for example, when I could run the Docker machine, I could see that it is there, but at the same time, it's saying it is not a different machine is available. So that was the main issue. So, so the way I interpret what you said is, you had Docker running well enough that you were inside the Jenkins tutorial using Docker to run the Jenkins tutorial. 
and there was a, a, a Docker related message inside the tutorial. So what that probably indicates is a bug in the tutorial, not a bug, anything that, that you could actually fix. Okay, that's, that's good to know. So which tutorial were you running? Were you running the Node.js tutorial or the Maven tutorial or a Python tutorial? The, the Node.js tutorial. Ah, okay, good. And, and that one, good. So there's, there's a real bug there. And if you'd be willing to submit a, a description of it, that would be great. Um, if, if you're not comfortable submitting a description of it, of the bug, um, I'm okay with that as well. But the issues or the, the GitHub site for the Jenkins.io pages would be a great place to have a bug report there that describes what you saw what how it failed because if you saw a failure others are very likely to see the same failure okay thank you for finding it that's great and and my apologies those those, those tutorials are they're interestingly complicated but because they're interestingly complicated they tend to break on occasion okay thank you All right, so let's see. I think we've had everyone that's available. Any other questions from any of the four of you on on topics that you'd like to be sure we we discuss? No, no questions from me. Okay. Yeah. All right, and Kristen, any so Kristen and I did a review yesterday of of the documents that you've been creating, of the documents uh, created as part of the task list, right? And glad to see your progress. Glad to see progress for each of you. That's great. Keep keep going. Um, I think we've probably got some surprises yet that will happen where you realize, oh, tried to do this thing and it didn't work. What do we do next? Let's see. And on the bios and photos for the blog, I think I have what I need. I made a mistake. Uh, I didn't include the open graph image. And I've got to get that fixed. Actually, I've got to show it to you. Hang on. I, I really should show it to you because I'm, I'm proud of this. I think it's a lovely image. Where is it? Is this it? Yes. Okay. This is the page that I intend to show as the image when people click this on Twitter. Any objections from the four of you that we use this as, as a, a sort of a, a, an image cover? No, I love it. <laughs> okay, now danger yeah, warning. I, I am I am not a designer. I don't know how to do good designs, etc. But so you're okay with that? No objections. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, I think yeah. my name. Uh, there is a. You forgot to add a. Oh dear. Between okay. Our I misspelled. And oh, oh yeah, it's actually yeah, Dukunda. Oh, yes, I spelled it wrong. Shame on me. Okay, I will fix that. I R A D A. Okay, I will. Is there more misspelling? I R A D A. No, that, that A should be U. I R A D U. Uh, I R A D U. A D U. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. So I've misspelled it twice. There are two character errors. Okay, <laughs> I can fix yeah, that. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> that, well, thank yeah. you for catching it. I'd much rather fix it now instead of having the humiliation of, of publishing one more time this image that I failed on the first time I tried. Just a minute. So let me bring that up and let's, let's fix it live because you just as well see it being fixed. That way when I make a mistake, we can, we can find it quickly. Okay, so here is the page and Let's see if I just search for Cynthia. 
Okay. Now, I R A D U. Did I get that correct? I -R -A -D -U. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I did. Very good. All right. Now I have to drag that just a little to make sure it's okay. Excellent. All right. So I will I will fix that mistake, up, upload a new image, and off we'll go. Very good. Anything else we need to discuss here before we end today? See, so you're all on the Slack channel, right? That I think we've got working reasonably well for you. And it feels to me like that's working better than having you do it in the Gitter channel. Um, I'm, I'm comfortable with it. Kristen, I think you're comfortable with it. It seems to be working for Meg. Anyone, anyone not comfortable using Slack for communications? Great, then we'll continue with that. All right, next session will be next Monday and it will be Monday morning. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Thanks. Good Thank weekend, you. everyone. Thank you very much. Thanks. You too.